members of the Father State, good morning. Once more, welcome to the Hustlers Mansion. <coughs> um, I'll be very brief. The Kenya Kwanza administration remains committed to supporting the most vulnerable members in the society who deserve to live a dignified life. We continue to implement the cash transfer program, popularly known as Inua Jami, which provides by monthly stipend to cushion beneficiaries from poverty and vulnerabilities. This is aimed at improving their livelihoods. Today, the government has released through the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection, Kenya shilling 16 billion 725,856 for payment to over 1 million beneficiaries and road in the Inua Jami program. In addition, 11,185,000 will be paid as top up for beneficiaries under the nutrition improvement through cash and health education complementary program. The total for both programs for the four cycles is 16 billion 737,041. The funds will be credited to accounts of 1,072,226 Inua Jamii beneficiaries. Each beneficiary will receive Kenya shillings, 16,000, to be paid in two tranches in June and July, being payment for four cycles, namely November to December 2022, which is about 4 billion, January to February 2023, another 4.1 billion, March to April, another 4.1 billion, and May to June, another 4.1 billion. The Inua Jamii brings together three cash transfer programs, namely the cash transfer to orphans and vulnerable children, older persons cash transfer program, and persons with severe disabilities cash transfer. The Nietzsche project combines social protection, nutrition, and child protection aspects in programming. The project is being piloted in five arid and semi-arid counties of Kitui, Kilifi, Barsabit, Turkana, and West Pokot. It targets Inua Jamii and Hunger Safety Net program households with children between one to 36 months and pregnant mothers. So far, the project is supporting a total of 8,656 households. Each beneficiary will receive 4,000 as a top up to the regular cash transfer. The payments will commence on 28th June 2023 through the six government contracted banks, namely the Cooperative Bank, Equity Bank Limited, Kenya Commercial Bank, Kenya Women Microfinance Bank, the National Bank of Kenya, and the Post Bank. In line with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda better, the government is undertaking various strategies to revamp the cash transfer programs for elderly and vulnerable households to improve operational efficiency, accountability, and coverage. Towards this, the cabinet has approved a memorandum directing the National Treasury to release cash meant for Inua Jamii beneficiaries in a timely and predictable manner with the effect from 1st July 2023 and fast tracking the finalization of the Social Assistance Bill 2023. This will provide a legal and institutional framework for the establishment of the Social Assistance Fund that will expand fiscal space and enable program expansion from the current 1.2 million beneficiaries to 2.5 million beneficiaries in the next two years. Asante Nisana, thank you very much. Iko Oswani, I think it's very clear. Iko Oswani, yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Brenda Wanga from Citizen TV. Uh, my question is in regards to the statement you just made that this program is meant to be expanded to take in even more people. How is this going to happen when in this uh, financial year's uh, statement, uh, the amount that had been allocated to this particular program seems to have been slashed? Well, you know we are operating in difficult times, but I want to confirm that um, our efforts to enhance revenue collection are bearing fruits. 
and along the way we'll be able to factor that in our supplementary budget so that we can uh, make it more inclusive. The system of analyzing and coming up with the beneficiaries a very transparent uh, method that is spearheaded by officers for the National Government Administration, backed up by community health volunteers and with elected leadership. So once the beneficiaries are identified with the improved performance of the economy, we have no doubt that we'll be able to make the necessary adjustment in the first supplementary budget to take this into, uh, to bring it uh, as one of the interventions that we're gonna do for the old people. Asante ni sana, tumesema kwa kiswahili ya kwamba, serikali mewachilia shiligi bilioni kumina sita kusaidia wale wazee wetu, wale wale mavu, wale senior citizens ambaye wametabulika ya kwamba wako na matatizo na tumekuwa na changamoto ya kwamba pesa haikuwa imepatikana na zaidi ya miezi nane hawaja pata pesa sao lakini sasa tungetaka kuwakishia kwamba hizi pesa siko tayari na kupitia zile mabanki ambayo iko na mkataba na serikali wataweza kupata pesa yao kati ya wakati huu wa leo na huu mwezi ujao na kuendelea hapo mbele baraza la mawaziri imepitisha ya kwamba kuanzia tarehe mosi mwezi wa saba, tutakuwa na mikakati ya kwamba hizi pesa za wazee wetu sitakuwa tayari kila mwisho wa mwezi ni hao wazee wetu waweze kusaidika na wasitaabike katika eh, mahali yao ya maisha Asante sana. Thank you very much. Thank you.